Taj al Din Abu al Fath Muhammad ibn Abd al Karim ash Sharistani, 1086 to 1153 CE, also known as Muhammad al Sharistani, was an influential Persian historian of religions, a historiographer, Islamic scholar, philosopher, and theologian. His book Kitab al Malal wa al Nihal, lit. The Book of Sects and Creeds, was one of the pioneers in developing an objective and philosophical approach to the study of religions. Life Very few things are known about al Sharistani's life. He was born in 1086 CEAH, in the town of Sharistan, Khorasan, province of Persia where he acquired his early traditional education. Later, he was sent to Nishapur where he studied under different masters who were all disciples of the Ash-Ari theologian al-Juwaini at the age of 30, al Sharistani went to Baghdad to pursue theological studies and taught for three years at the prestigious Ash Ari school, al Nizamiya. Afterwards, he returned to Persia where he worked as Naib deputy of the Chancellery for Sinjar, the Saljuk ruler of Khorasan. At the end of his life, al Sharistani went back to live in his native town, where he died in the year 1153. Works <laughs> <laughs> Al Sharistani distinguished himself by his desire to describe in the most objective way the universal religious history of humanity. This is reflected in his Kitab al Malal wa al Nihal, the Book of Sects and Creeds, a monumental work, which presents the doctrinal points of view of all the religions and philosophies which existed up to his time. The book was one of the earliest systematic studies of religion, and is noted for its non polemical style and scientific approach. A French translation of the book by Guimarat, Monet and Jolivet was sponsored by UNESCO Livre des religions et des sects. Peters, 1986, 1993. Al-Sharistani's philosophical and theological thoughts manifested in his other major works, which include The Nihayat al-Akdam Fi ilm al -Kalam The End of Steps in the Science of Theology presents different theological discussions and shows the limits of Muslim theology Kalam. The Majlis is a discourse, written during the mature period of his life, delivered to a Twelver Shi'ite audience. The Musara at al falasifa the struggle with philosophers, criticizes Ibn Sina Avicenna's doctrines by emphasizing some peculiar Ismaili arguments on the division of beings. The Mafati al Azrar wa Masabi al Abrar, the keys of the mysteries and the lamps of the righteous, introduces the Quran and gives a complete commentary on the first two chapters of the Quran. Topic. Religious belief al Sharistani's own beliefs are difficult to categorize because he juggled many different philosophical and theological vocabularies. He was a clever thinker, demonstrated by the intricacies of many traditions and the Shi'ite notion of the guide imam found in his thoughts. al Sharistani had many reasons to speak somewhat allegorically. He was a very subtle author who often spoke indirectly by means of symbols. He preferred his own personal vocabulary to the traditional one. For this reason, his position is hard to determine. It may well be that ideological considerations led him to speak indirectly, he perhaps assumed those familiar with the symbols would be able to unravel his elusive ideas. For all these reasons, many scholars who have studied al Sharistani were misled concerning his religious identity. Though al Sharistani is generally regarded as an Sunni Ash'ari theologian, he had been accused by his contemporaries, al Khwarizmi and al Samani, of being drawn to the people of the mountain fortresses, i.e., the Nazari Ismailis of Alamut, see, Hassan i Saba and the Hashashan. This view is supported by modern scholars, such as Muhammad Raida Jalali Naini, Muhammad Taki Danish Pazu, Wilford Madeling, Jean Jolivet, Guy Monnet, and Diana Steigerwald who characterize his works as belonging to the Ismaili tradition, while attributing his public Asherism and Shafiism to the practice of tachia religious dissimulation, since ism illis were persecuted during that time. Topic. Philosophy As opposed to Asherites, al Sharistani presents a gradation in the creation. He gives a definition of the prophetic impeccability opposed to the Ash Arite tradition, maintaining that it subsists in the Prophet as part of his real nature. 
As did al-Ghazali, al-Sharistani harshly criticizes Avicenna's necessary being who knows the universal but not the particular. Al-Sharistani, particularly in the Musara backquota al falasifa has an Ismaili conception of the originator beyond being and non-being. He argues convincingly for the existence of divine attributes, but he does not ascribe them directly to God. True worship means tawhid, declaring the unicity of God. This includes the negation of all attributes which humans give to God, the ultimate one who is totally transcendent. God is unknowable, indefinable, unattainable, and above human comprehension. As for the theory of creation, in the Nihaya, al-Sharistani insists that God is the only creator and the only agent. He also develops a different interpretation of ex nihilo creation which does not mean creation out of nothing, but creation made only by God. In the Majlis and the Mafati al-Azhar, the angels play a dominant role in the physical creation. His theory of the divine word Kalima has a convincing Ismaili imprint, for example, his hierarchy of angels and divine words Kalimat are conceived as being the causes of spiritual beings. Al-Sharistani in the Nihaya writes, His divine command Amr is pre-existent and his multiple Kalimat are eternal. By his command, Kalimat become the manifestation of it. Spiritual beings are the manifestation of Kalimat and bodies are the manifestation of spiritual beings. The Ibda origination beyond time and space and Kalk physical creation become manifested respectively in spiritual beings and bodies. As for Kalimat and letters Haruf, they are eternal and pre-existent. Since his command is not similar to our command, his Kalimat and his letters are not similar to our Kalimat. Since letters are elements of Kalimat which are the causes of spiritual beings who govern corporeal beings, all existence subsists in the Kalimat Allah preserved in his command." In the Majlis, al-Sharistani divides the creation into two worlds, the spiritual world i.e. the world of the origination of spirits in an achieved state and the world of physical creation in becoming mastanaf". He shares an isma'ili cosmology in which God has built his religion in the image of creation. The conception of prophecy developed in the Nihaya is closer to that of isma'ilis and falasifa Islamic philosophers than to ash'a rites, because al-Sharistani establishes a logical link between miracles and prophetic impeccability for al-Sharistani, the proof of veracity of the prophet is intrinsic to his nature and is related to his impeccability. He develops the concept of cyclical time explicitly in the Malal, the Majlis, and the Mafati and implicitly in the Nihaya. In the Majlis, his understanding of the dynamic evolution of humanity is similar to Isma'ilism, in which each prophet opens a new cycle. Al-Sharistani recovers the mythical Quranic story of Moses and the servant of God inspired by Al-Rizala al-Mudhiba of al-Qadi al-Numan d. 974. Al-Sharistani was an able and learned man of great personal charm. The real nature of his thought is best referred to by the term theosophy, in the older sense of divine wisdom. However, Al-Sharistani was certainly not totally against theology or philosophy, even if he was very harsh against the theologians and the philosophers. As he explained in the Majlis, in order to remain on the right path, one must preserve a perfect equilibrium between intellect -aql and audition Sam a philosopher or a theologian must use his intellect until he reaches the rational limit. Beyond this limit, he must listen to the teaching of prophets and imams. His works reflect a complex interweaving of intellectual strands, and his thought is a synthesis of this fruitful historical period. In his conception of God, creation, prophecy, and imama, al-Sharistani adopted many doctrinal elements that are reconcilable with Nizari Ismailism. The necessity of a guide, belonging both to the spiritual and the physical world, is primordial in his scheme since the imam is manifested in this physical world. <laughs> Christian commentary In Kitab al-Malal wa al-Nihel, al-Sharistani records a portrayal of Christianity very close to the orthodox tenets while continuing the Islamic narrative. The Christians, they are the community Uma of the Christ, Jesus, Son of Mary, peace upon him. He it is who was truly sent as prophet Mabbath after Moses, peace upon him, and who was announced in the Torah. 
To him were granted manifest signs and notable evidences, such as the reviving of the dead and the curing of the blind and the leper. His very nature and innate disposition are a perfect sign of his truthfulness, that is, his coming without previous seed and his speaking without prior teaching. For all the other prophets the arrival of their revelation was at the age of forty years, but revelation came to him when he was made to speak in the cradle, and revelation came to him when he conveyed the divine message at the age of thirty. The duration of his prophetic mission dawah was three years and three months and three days. al sharistani also explains the differences between Christians in Kitab al-Malal wa al-Nihil regarding the incarnation tajasud. They affirmed that God has three hypostasis econom. They said that the Creator may he be exalted is one substance jahar, meaning by this what is self-subsistent not what is characterized by spatial location and physical magnitude, and he is one in substantiality, three in hypostaticity By the hypostasis they mean the attributes sifat, such as existence, life and knowledge, and the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit the hypostasis of knowledge clothes itself and was incarnated, but not the other hypostasis. Topic. Notes. Topic. Bibliography. Topic. See also. Kitab al-Malal wa al-Nihal. List of Persian scientists and scholars Topic. References Books Schimmel, Anne-Marie Islam, An Introduction – Translation of, Dur Islam. Sunni Press. ISBN 0-7914-1327-6. OCLC 25201546. Topic. External links Al-Sharistani at the Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy Al-Sharistani Islamic Philosophy Online In French Biography of Imam Al-Sharistani by Ibn Khalikan at dash-tahid.net Digitalizations of Harbrooker's German translation 1850-51, at Google Books, v.1, 1, 2, v. 1-2, 3.